uh, in this video we are going to see an example of uh, HDFS MapReduce uh, program. So we have uh, three different classes here. Uh, max close price, max close price, max close price uh, mapper and reducers. So this is a simple Java uh, project here. So this is a Mavenized project. Let's look at the pom.xml. So in this pom.xml, uh, ensure that you have this repository. So this is a Cloudera repository. Ensure that the you need to mention the URL stps report repository dot cloudera dot com slash artifactory slash cloudera repos and then you need to add these four dependencies here a hadoop core hadoop client and mr unit so uh, once you set up your palm xml you need to build it so that the all the depend required dependencies get uh, important to your local MA1 repository and then we will see this program here so so this video explains the uh, sample Java code for the mapper and reducer and how you configure the uh, HDFS uh, map reduce job so in this one we are writing a main program in this program uh, what we do is we create a job map reduce job so this job you are seeing here is a uh, or Apache Hadoop map reduced or job and then you need to specify the jar by class and then the job name so why we need to set it up is that once uh, we build this job we will be uh, building into a jar file and we will be putting it in our uh, HDFS uh, file system and then we should be able to identify this class using a class name so uh, that's why we are giving the name for this one and then we also specifying the job name then uh, we need to specify the input uh, format and output formats also so to the input formats we are mentioning the input path and for the output format we are specifying the output output path means where our where we need to read the input from and uh, where our output has to be stored and then we need to specify the format for our input format and the output format so here uh, there are multi different kind of formats here in our case i am writing the uh, text input format and text output format and to this job you need to specify the mapper reducer and you can also specify the combiner so here I mentioned only the mapper and reducer classes so this is the mapper class and this is the reducer class so we will talk uh, more about these uh, two classes and then we need to specify the output types so what are the different uh, output key and value pair for the job so map reduce program will provide any output with key value pair so here from our program uh, the key is text so that's why I'm specifying as a text but there are it's possible that uh, any different kind of uh, a class is possible and if you see the output here that we have I wrote it as a float uh, writable but we have different kind of uh, writables possible like int writable long writable float double so there are different kind of uh, writables now so what we do is that system dot exit job dot wait for completion and if it is true uh, it will exit so here we will see the map and reducer classes so if you see this map any map so if you are writing a um, mapper class it means that you are specifying a class which is implement which is extending the mapper class so the mapper class is specified in the or Apache Hadoop map reduce mapper in this package so here if you see this extending the mapper the first one is the we have it, it has got four different arguments here so the first one so if you see this I click uh, it is 
it mentions here like four different uh, value uh, input arguments types like key in value in key out value out so here the first one is long writable so here how why it is given long writable is for example i am reading a huge file and each it reads each line so when it reads each line the line number you know that is considered as a long so uh, that's what it is represented here so that's a long writable so in hadoop all the primitive types that we have uh, there are writable cl classes for those primitive types so earlier we have seen float writable similarly this is uh, long writable and then the line itself in the sample text file if you have the line itself is read as a text so once we read it as a text uh, the what kind of output we are generating so in this scenario i am trying to uh, generate a text as a key and float writable as a uh, value so here the exam actual example written here is for reading some stock values okay. and what is the uh, closing price for the uh, stock value so here in my text if you receive it and uh, if, if it is separated by commas we can split by commas and then uh, we will uh, so once you extend the map mapper you need to override the map method so once you override the map method has got three different input arguments uh, right long writable which is the same thing as this and then text and then the mapper the context so once you read the values from this uh, line what we need to do is we need to write to the context so here i am writing it to the context context not write the new text meaning the stock name whatever i we read from the text file and then new float writable so it means you are writing to the context so for you are reading each line and you are from that line you are coming coming up with a key output and the value out so the output from the map is fed to the red user so it means to the red user the text and flow float writable or the inputs so let's see what kind of output it generates uh, let's go to the reducer program so in this reducer program you need to extend the reducer class so like we saw before uh, here the input arguments are text input key and uh, input uh, value or text and float writable which are the output from the mapper so and also the what kind of a value that it writes to the context is given here here in this example we are writing the same key value pairs so here what we are doing is for each of them um, we are trying to get the maximum close price so what happens in the reduce program is if you are over so when you are extending the reducer you need to override the reduce uh, method so here we are getting the key and then iterable of the float variables it means that uh, for the same key we will be having a list of values okay because in our mapper what happened was that for each uh, key there was a value each key there was a value for example there are 10 different uh, mapper outputs and in those 10 different mappers three of the um, keys for four records is same keys for three records is same keys for three records is same it means we only have three different keys but 10 different values it means we can group all of them uh, using keys okay so it means if for the first key we have four different float variable values for the second key we have three different float variable values and for the third key we have three different float variable values so here if you see the text key means the first key we will be receiving the iterable float values means we will be receiving the values means we will be receiving the four values uh, of the float variable so that is what is meant by iterable uh, <coughs> next is and the similarly for the other uh, keys also for the keys 2 you will receive three values for the keys 3 you will receive three values so reduce are also 
so this is one more argument uh, input argument so this is it's called context and you will be writing the value to the context so what i am doing is using the iterable values i'm iterating through them and i'm trying to find the maximum price and then i'm writing it to the context so i will write context not write and then i'll write the key and uh, i will write the uh, writable so it means what i did is that from the from my complete input file i read a distinct stock and uh, what is the maximum closing price for that stock that's what is achieved with this uh, map reduce job uh, thank you for watching the video so if you like this videos please subscribe thank you